Hello everyone, this is Roxas1359, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X HD Remaster. Last time, we ended up doing some chocobo training and going to Remium Temple. In this part, I have changed files to the file that we're going to be using for pretty much the rest of the next couple of hours. Which has a peaceful shield, which means no more random battles. Ever. Thank God. That will make episodes so much more streamlined. Sometimes Yuna would just stare off into the distance. I finally understood why. She was saying goodbye to the places she'd never see again. Well, that is depressing. Thanks, Titus. Now I'm depressed. But, ladies and gentlemen, Welcome to the sacred mountain of Gagazet. So our next destination is the end of the road, the Xanarkin ruins. But what's on Mount Gagazet? Well, a bunch of fiends and something Kamari is going to have to deal with. So let's change Kamari to, uh, not Slayer. How about Stoic for every time he takes damage? Because he's got something coming up. I hope you've trained Kamari. I haven't. This is going to be difficult. Ah, great. It's them again. And Kelkronso. Summon Ayuna and Guardians. Leave here at once. Kind of outnumbered. Gagazet is Ronso land, sacred mountain of Yevon. The mountain will not bear the footsteps of infidels. Enemy of Yevon is enemy of Ronso. Leave, traitors! I have cast aside Yevon. I... I follow the temple no more. Then you will die by those words. So be it. Yevon has warped the teachings and betrayed us all. Nothing but a bunch of low-down tricksters, eh? Yeah, 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 yeah! That's big coming from Waka. We have no regrets. Uh, Kamari, kind of got a height disadvantage. A summoner and her guardians. Lord Kelgronso, if I may, have you not also turned your back on Bavel? But still, you guard Gagazet as a Ronso, not a Maester. Yuna is much the same. Huh? Elder Kelk. Let Biran ran them asunder. Oh, try it. <laughs> no escape. Not one. No, we will not flee. We will fight and continue on. You have been branded a traitor, but still you would fight sin. Lost to the temple, hated by the people, yet you continue your pilgrimage? Everything lost. What do you fight for? I fight for Spira. Darn it, could have said fight for your friends. The people long for the calm. I can give it to them. It's all I can give. Defeating sin, ending pain. This I can do. Even sacrificing yourself.
Ronzo, let them pass. Summoner Yuna, your will is stronger than steel. Tempered steel that even the mightiest Ronzo could not hope to bend. Yuna, we bow to your will. Now go! The sacred heights of Gagazet welcome you. We thank you. Which is why we are play fighting in the background. Way to go, guys. So, what's everyone's deal with this? You think of anything yet? Nope. Okay. So, there's that still. Ah, my neck's hurting. Xanarkin's on the other side, huh? Yeah? You're home, yeah? As if you believed me. <laughs> Maybe I do. The one on the other side here is probably just a pile of rubble, yeah? But somewhere out there is your Xanarkin. Somewhere, yeah? Yeah, you'll be home soon enough. I hope you're right. I... Yeah, cheer up. Let's do this. Man, Walk has really become relaxed. Eunice grown stronger. Stronger, huh? I'd say it's more like she's driven. Don't you think? That's why she's strong. She's still pressing forward. When weak people are driven, they can't go far before they break. She keeps going forward because she is strong. Good to know. It is as I thought. What is? Yevon is in turmoil. Micah tries to keep it whole, but it crumbles around him. Look, I couldn't care less what happens to Yevon. Because you are not of this world. To those who truly believe in the teachings, a time of much pain is coming. That's not good. What about you, Catman? Biran and Yenke gone. I wonder what they're up to. Eh, it's probably nothing. That is your cue that they are up to something. Biran is hero of Ronso. Yenke is powerful warrior. Great. I hope we don't have to fight them. Kimari must fight. Kimari must win. That is your cue. Hope you've been training Kimari. I know I haven't. This man right here will explain about how, you know, Kimari 1 got his broken horn, and 2, the beef that they have. So Biron broke Kimari's horn because Kimari, you know, would not yield. Kind of harsh. I don't get why the slow-mo. We know who they are. Haven't you bothered us enough? Summoner may pass. Guardians may pass. Kimari not pass. Kimari shame Ronso brothers. Kimari forget his birth. Forget his people. Forget his mountain. Little Ronso. Weakling Ronso. Mountain hate the weak. Hate the small. If you will climb, then I must prove my strength. Think you will win? You not forget who took your horn. Never forget. Kimari never beat Brother Biran. Never win. This time, I win. I will win. Why, you... Ugh. This some kind of Ronso thing? Ronzo deal with Ronzo problem. problem. Ronzo deal with Ronzo problems. Ladies and gentlemen, boss fight time against Biran and Yankee. Biran rend you asunder. Hornless, hornless. Way to repeat dialogue. So yes, pretty much these guys are give me overdrives. They know a multitude of overdrives that Kimari can learn. Now, this Kimari is going down the black magic path. 
Problem is, black magic's not too good against these Ronso. So, use Lancet on Biran and you will learn a multitude of different uh, overdrives. So we just learned Doom, which I believe they are immune to. We could also learn White Wind. We can learn, not Bulldoze. Bulldoze is surprisingly not one of them. Uh, you can get Aqua Breath if you haven't learned it yet. You can get a multitude of different ones. You can't get all of them. There are a few that you can't. But how much HP do Biron and Yankee have? I believe they have 5,000 a piece. And I don't know what happens if you end Not up losing enough. this battle. I do almost lose it a couple times because my Kimari is not that strong. Which is why we're gonna be here for a little while. <laughs> because, uh, kind of, uh, didn't do too much with this at all. Which is kind of bad. On the bright side, Biran knows black magic, but since my Kimari is on the black mage path, he has a high magic defense. His regular defense leaves something to be desired. This is honestly the last Sir, time that you would need Kimari. Yes, this is the strength of Kimari. So, he uses Mighty Guard, which is another overdrive that you can learn. That pretty much casts Protect, Shell, and all the Null abilities. I don't think it casts Cheer times 5. I believe that's Mighty Null all. But we learned Mighty Guard, so... Let us run so rage. Don't use self-destruct, you'll die. As you can see, I have bad breath. And here's me realizing, no, they're gonna be immune to doom, so let's not try it. So, beat on Ronso, try it, and he defends him. Yenke always does that, it's really annoying. All right, uh, losing health here pretty quickly. Okay, getting a little bit low, not gonna lie, not liking this. I believe Yenke knows haste as well as Biran, but I don't remember which one was which. So, use an X potion. Ha! That does nothing to me. That, on the other hand, does. On the bright side, we get to listen to Mount Gagazette's theme, which is a pretty good theme. It's one of my favorite songs in Final Fantasy X. All right. Thrust kick. Let's go to Biron, who got protect on him, so this is gonna do half damage. That probably would have killed him in all honesty if he didn't have Mighty Guard. It's random when they use Mighty Guard. I've had some battles against them in which they don't use Mighty Guard. And with how often they use Bulldoze, you would be well in your thought in thinking that that would be an overdrive for Kimari. It unfortunately is not. So. Let's keep attacking Biran. Get him out of the way first. I find Biran to be the more difficult one of the two. And here comes the bulldoze again. And back to SOS. Right now what I have equipped is the Knight's Lance, which we got from the Bavel Cloister of Trials, because let's face it, Kamari needs this. I don't know why I keep on falling for that. Well, it doesn't really matter who you attack, because if you attack Yenke, Biron will end up going to defend him. It's only when it's like this that you can get full attacks on him. But that takes care of Biron, so all that's left is Yenke, which means he's going to use haste now. You will pay for this. Oh no. And here, my Kamari doesn't know that. And unfortunately, my overdrive's not charging because I think I'm getting hit by too many special attacks. So, let's use another X potion. You can see why I made this its own part. This can be difficult if you've not been training Kamari. And I have not been training Catman. No, I have not. No, I have not. Takes all this in the fact that they won't revive each other, because if they did, then I'd never win. I was thinking of going to train Kimari for a bit, 
but this is really the last time you would ever really need him. It's at this point of the game, I start to focus more on Titus, Riku, Waka, and Yuna. Because they're going to be the end game and super boss beings that I use. So that's why you're going to want to focus on leveling them up. Yuna just to be a meat shield in all honesty. Your main one's going to want to be everyone else. But there we go. That beats them. Finally. You win. Thank you. Ah, uh, yes, I needed that fanfare. And get poultry XP, but you get yourself two return spheres. Strong is Kimari. Viran is happy. Sacred Mount Gagazet. I honor the name of strong warrior who defeats Biran. Remember always, Gagazet, that name is Kimari. Mountain knows Kimari strong. Kimari may pass. Summoner, we run so. We'll stop pursuers from temple. Truly? Penance for breaking Kimari's horn long ago. We crush enemies following behind. Kimari crush enemies standing before. You are most fortunate, Summoner. I thank you. Ronso will shine your statue brightest. Uh, thank you. But I fear that no one will make a statue for a traitor such as I am. Then Ronso will make. With grand horn on head. That would be wonderful. I wanted to see Yuna's statue too, but I wanted to see it with Yuna by my side. Okay, that line seemed kind of rushed right there, not gonna lie. Like, why the sudden speed? But, let us head now towards Gagazette. Finally, we are done with Biran and Yenke, and Kimari's penance and, you know, character arc is done. Summoner Yuna! What is it this time? That was my thoughts the first time seeing the scene. E no They're out of sync. I can't tell if that's the echo causing them to be desynced or if that's actually them being desynced. Oh, okay, somebody just turned on the tape recording of it now. Let's now climb the mountain with our no encounter shield. You can encounter a bunch of different enemies, including an enemy that is similar to the Wendigo. Has 17,000 HP and likes to punch you in the face. That's why I'm not dealing with him. But 
let us go up, but if you go to these stones right here, you'll get optional cutscenes. These mark the graves of summoners and guardians who failed. Well, that is morbid, to say the least. But let us continue climbing the mountain, shall we? Now, there isn't much really to Mount Gagazet this part. Besides the fiends, there are bomb-type enemies. There are other collectibles to get, but we'll be getting those later on. And I know some people aren't going to like the fact that I'm not showing off fiends, but let's be honest. With a no-encounter shield, this makes doing episodes so much easier. Summoners that die up here aren't sent to the far plane. Why not? Who would send them? They die alone. So that means... Many have become fiends, and they may want Yuna's company. Well, Yuna will be fine. You're right. You know how I know I'm right? Because I have a no encounter shield. Yes, no encounter shields are actually rare drops from ghosts inside the cavern of the Stolen Faith where we got Yojimbo. And I got lucky enough to get one for Titus. If I got really lucky, I would have gotten it for Lulu because I'm going to have to switch some things off. But here's Defending Bracer for Orin, Stone Proof and Poison Proof. It's pretty useful, but as I said, I'm not really going to be using Orin much. I'm going to be focusing on four main characters and eventually Yuna is going to get dropped off too to not really being used. I may use her inside some of them, but hey look, it's the guy with the camera. Greetings, Lady Yuna. My name is Wants. I'm so sorry. We have met several times before, right? Not running today? Hmm. I have to carry on my brother's business. You've met him, I think. Owaka the 23rd. Merchant extraordinaire. Ooh. Wait, you're that guy's brother? Hmm. My brother wanted to come help Lady Yuna, but the temple imprisoned him for helping traitors. They imprisoned him because of us? Ooh. He doesn't regret it, though. In fact, he told me before they took him, don't worry about me, just go help Lady Yuna. But why would your brother do this for us? Well, hey, this isn't the time for talking. There's dealing to be done. Welcome to Owokas. Once becomes the person who sells you four armored slot items that are empty later in the game for 100,000 gil at the Makalania Woods. So Wands is pretty important for making the ultimate armors in the game in order to take on the Dark Aeons, which we will be doing in this project. So, this is what he has right I now. I sure to keep your brother in my prayers. He's doing the same for you, Lady Yuna. Thanks. Good to know. So, that deals with that. But, anyway guys, I'm gonna end it off uh, a little bit right here because we're coming up to another boss fight. In fact, one of the more infamous boss fights in the game that can really screw you over if you're not trained. I am trained more than enough to deal with it. All this way only to fail. It must have been tough. Yeah, that is very depressing. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end it off right here. This has been Roxas1359. Do your training now. Believe me. It gets worse.